Uh, hello, again, world, people, professor. This week's prompt is about our most embarrassing memory and our most empowering memory. And I'm afraid I don't have very many of the latter and a few too many of the former. Yeah. Uh, but I guess I'll just dive right in because I really don't want to be talking about this in the first place. Uh, so, start with my most embarrassing memory, which was a little hard to pin down because I have so many to choose from. But I think the worst one was probably in 10th grade when all of my classmates decided it would be really, really hilarious to steal all of my clothes while I was showering after gym. So I had to walk to the coach's office in nothing but a towel in order to ask for some actual clothing. But the kicker to this whole story is that the coach's office was on the other side of the gym. So I had to walk across the entire gym in front of everyone wearing nothing but a towel while they were all laughing and pointing and staring. And it was awful. I'm glad I had a towel because without that it could have been really awkward. My most empowering memory uh, is actually the first time that Padfoot and Prongs came to my rescue. <laughs> um, I didn't actually know them very well back then, um, but I had an introductory music class with Prongs. No, not with Prongs. That was with Padfoot. Okay. <laughs> Rewind. Um, but I had an introductory music class with Padfoot, um, and one day after class, um, apparently, nope, one day after class, one of the upperclassmen decided it would be real funny if they knocked all the books out of my hands. And apparently Prongs had been planning to meet up with Padfoot after class that day. Um, so, when it happened, Prongs immediately just pushed this guy up against a wall. He's probably like a good foot taller than her, right? She shoves him against a wall and just screams in his face, Dude, what is your fucking damage? <laughs> and then Padfoot came out and started yelling also, and they were like, Grow up, you entitled prick! Sorry for swearing, Professor, but it was a direct quote. <laughs> then they picked up my books after the guy went running down the hall in my terror. And then we had lunch together, and we became best friends. I know it really doesn't sound like much, but it's empowering to me because they chose me, and they protected me, and it makes me feel like I'm worth protecting when I think about it, and that's really empowering to me. Anyway, really moving on. Um, oh, I know that everybody is talking about the Slug Club party that's happening. Um, they're all really excited about it. And surprise of surprises! <laughs> I'm not invited. <laughs> Which isn't really that big of a shocker, considering recent AC events that occurred recently that everyone knows about. Plus the fact that I didn't really have very impressive grades to begin with. See, I'm pretty much a straight average student. 
so there's no reason why Professor Slughorn would take any special notice of me in the first place. Uh, but I know Padfoot and Prongs were pretty disappointed because they love a good party. <laughs> um, but I think they're actually planning on throwing a party of their own that night, you know, in the spirit of everybody else is having a party, so why can't we? Not sure why I decided to have a weird country accent there. Um, but I know I'll be going to that one, so that could be fun. And I got nothing else. So, um, bye.